Attention all you royalty enthusiasts, get ready to witness the most dazzling, bedazzled extravaganza of all time. Now hold on to your crowns and shine those scepters and prepare to be blown away by the blinktastic wonderland known as the crown jewels. Brace yourselves, for these are no ordinary sparkly trinkets, no sir. They're the original power symbols, dripping with wealth and splendor, captivating hearts for centuries. We're talking serious bling here, fit for the mightiest rulers who want to outshine the very sun itself. Believe us, nothing else even comes close to this level of opulence. Picture this, over 100 exquisite items adorned with a jaw-dropping 23,000 precious gems. Yeah, that's enough bling to make even the wealthiest tycoons turn green with envy. These jewels have witnessed it all, from the rise and fall of empires to legendary reigns fit for fairy tales, from dazzling diamonds to exquisite gemstones, each piece in the collection tells a story of its own, representing the rich heritage and legacy of royal families across the globe. But here's the real kicker, the sheer rarity of the crown jewels is beyond comprehension. You won't find these beauties at your local jewelry store, they're guarded with the utmost care and surrounded by history at the iconic Tower of London. And as for for their value, let's just say it's enough to buy your own island and hire a professional jester to entertain you 24-7. So join us on this captivating journey as we unveil the mind-blowing worth and explore the untold stories behind these magnificent crown jewels. Now without any further delay, let's dive into the sparkling saga of riches and royalty. Long live the bling. The Regalia of Charles II. First up, we have the dazzling centerpiece of the crown jewels, the fabulous Coronation Regalia. These five sacred and bejeweled wonders are the VIPs of royal ceremonies, making sure British kings and queens are ready to rock their powers and responsibilities in style. Okay, quick history time. We're talking way back to 1066 when Edward the Confessor started this royal saga. Fast forward to today and voila, we've got a replica of the original set. Are you wondering what happened to the original set? Well, it turns out that during a brief hiccup from 1649 to 1661, the originals were sold off and melted down. Oh, the crown drama. But hey, no worries, the new sparkly set is estimated to be worth more than $4 billion. So when the big coronation day comes, these sacred artifacts become the real showstoppers. The regalia consists of St. Edward's crown, the imperial state crown, the sovereign scepter with cross, and the Sovereign's Orb, all fit for the grandest of Grand Monarchs. It's the ultimate royal bling collection. Let's take a closer look at them, shall we? St. Edward's Crown First, let's talk about St. Edward's Crown. This ain't your run-of-the-mill costume shop accessory, oh no. This baby is valued at a jaw-dropping $57 million. Picture this crown crafted with the finest 22 karat gold shining with a majestic simplicity that leaves you in awe. Crosses, fleur-de-lis, and arches grace its regal design, but it's the dazzling 400 precious gems that steal the show. Diamonds, rubies, and amethyst, the whole sparkling gang is here. And let's not forget that stunning sapphire on top looking like a shining constellation. The craftsmanship is pure perfection. Each gem is carefully fixed from behind the crown's frame held securely in place by a gold collar. And the way that they're clustered around white enamel mounts shaped like a canthus leaves? Absolutely breathtaking. But wait, there's more. St. Edward's crown has a legendary past. It's been the star of the show crowning every English monarch since Charles II. That's right, it's been in the crown crowning business for ages. So let's all cheer together. Long live the dazzling crown. Imperial state crown, 3.4 to 5.7 billion dollars. Step right up and feast your eyes on the grand and majestic crown of King George VI. This bad boy is a heavyweight in the world of crowns, weighing in at a whopping 2.3 pounds of royal awesomeness. Designed for King George VI's epic coronation in 1937, this masterpiece will have you gasping in awe at its brilliance. Picture this, a dazzling array of 2,868 diamonds twinkling like stars in the night sky. Not enough? How about 273 pearls exuding 
excellence. 17 sapphires adding a celestial touch, 11 emeralds bringing the freshness of a hidden forest, and 5 rubies radiating passionate crimson vibes. Oh, my gemstone goodness, it is a spectacle beyond imagination. But hold your breath because the real showstopper is none other than the Cullinan 2 Diamond, a cushion cut beauty weighing a jaw dropping 317.4 carats. This gem is one of the nine glorious babies cut from the legendary 3,601 carat stone called the Cullinan Diamond. The Cullinan Diamond, which was considered the biggest diamond in the world, was discovered in South Africa in 1905. It was lovingly named after Thomas Cullinan, the chairman of the mining firm that discovered it. And the rest, as they say, is history. It took three polishers eight months, working 14 hours a day to cut and polish the original diamond into nine large stones. And one of those rare and priceless stones found its place in the Imperial State Crown. And there's more. As if the dazzling diamonds and captivating colors weren't enough, this extraordinary crown holds within it the historical essence of the king's past. We're talking about the beautiful and famous Stuart Sapphire. Rumor has it that even the great Edward the Confessor once rocked this gem on a ring, and today the stone proudly claims the title of the oldest gem in the entire royal collection. If that's not an OG gem, then I don't know what is. But that's not all, dear friends. The crown also boasts the illustrious Black Prince's Ruby, a stone steeped in legends and heroic tales. Imagine that this very gem graced the fingers of the valiant Henry V during his legendary triumph at the Battle of Agincourt in 1415. Now talk about a gem with a front row seat to history. The Sovereign Scepter with Cross, 400 million plus dollars. Next up, we've got the Sovereign Scepter with Cross, another priceless treasure in the royal collection. This bad boy reigns supreme as one of the most valuable items in the crown jewels, and let us tell you, it's got a history that'll make your head spin. In 1910, King George V of England added the magnificent Cullen and One Diamond to the scepter. The gem used in the scepter is the biggest of the nine stunners cut from the legendary diamond. It's drop-shaped, sparkling like crazy, and proudly wears the title of the Star of Africa. Oh, and did I mention that it's worth a jaw-dropping $400 million? But the story doesn't end there. This golden scepter isn't holding back when it comes to dazzling decorations. With a whopping 333 diamonds, 31 rubies, 15 emeralds, and 7 sapphires, it's an absolute showstopper. It's like a gemstone party on a stick. And here's the cherry on top. It proudly holds the title of the largest colorless cut diamond known to humankind. It's no wonder this scepter is highly valued and admired by all. The Sovereign's Orb Step right up, folks, and feast your eyes on the majestic orb from a land of kings and enchantment. Crafted with gleaming gold, this baby is no ordinary sphere. It's a magical fusion of two hemispheres linked by a band that's just dripping with emeralds, sapphires, and rubies. Oh, but hold your gasps of awe because these gems are more that meets the eye. They represent the medieval continents themselves. Now talk about bling with a story. But wait, there's more shimmering goodness. At the top of this regal wonder, you'll find rose-cut diamonds taking center stage while a sapphire and an emerald compete for the spotlight, like a dazzling gemstone showdown. And don't even get us started on the arms of the cross. They're all about that pearl life. Move over pearl necklaces, these pearly arms are the real deal fit for a queen's fabulous ensemble. But the best part, the orbs got a history as rich as the tales of knights and dragons. A long, long time ago, the wise Charles I decided it needed a royal makeover in 1661, and guess what? He spent a pretty penny, 1,150 pounds, which by today's standards is around $290,000. Talk about a king with a taste for the finer things. As for the price, well, it seems like this piece of treasure is truly priceless, as it turns out out that the orb's true worth is shrouded in mystery and kept under royal wraps. Coronation Spoon Ahoy fellow time travelers, gather round and let us share with you a tale of ancient splendor that is the 12th century Coronation Spoon. This legendary artifact has seen more adventures than a knight in shining armor and gets a VIP invitation to the coronation ceremony, taking center stage, anointing the sovereign with holy oil, and making sure that they're all set to rule with some divine magic. But wait, the coronation spoon has a tale of epic survival. Back in 1649, when Parliament was up to some wild antics in destroying the crown jewels, the coronation spoon pulled off a vanishing act that would make Harry Houdini proud. How did it escape? Well, thanks to a clever man, named Clement Kiernersley, who wasn't just any old hero. 
No siree, he had a royal connection that would make him a hit at any fancy ball. He was part of Charles I's royal wardrobe, rubbing elbows with the bigwigs. But that's not all, folks. Kinnearsley also played a sneaky role in organizing the sale of the late king's goods, a true treasure hunt double agent. But when the monarchy made its grand return in 1660, Kinnearsley did the noble thing and returned the coronation spoon to Charles II, hoping for a royal thumbs up and maybe a shiny medal to boot. The Kohenor. The Kohenor is not part of the coronation regalia, but it is one of the most famous and possibly the most prized possession in the crown jewels. Not to forget, it also happens to be one of the most expensive diamonds in the world. The Kohenor diamond has a long and controversial history. You know that diamond has probably changed hands more times than a hot potato at a family picnic. From Indian rulers to Persian monarchs, and then the British swooped in like, we'll take that, thank you very much. Its enormous value and beauty have made it a symbol of power and prestige for centuries. The diamond is 105.6 carats in weight. It used to be much larger, but it was recut in 1852 to improve its brilliance and conform to modern European tastes. According to opposing legends, a diamond is both lucky and unlucky. A man wearing it, according to more recent traditions, would bring bad luck. The Kohenor is now featured in Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother's 1937 crown. Well, that's it for our video today. Which of these jewels was most stunning to you? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one.